Let me show you how to prevent duplicate entries in a list in Microsoft Excel. Here I have a list of student information and I'd like to generate more student IDs here, but I want to make sure that the student IDs I generate are not already taken. So each student ID has to be unique. So as I continue on with these rows, add more students here. I want to make sure that I don't add any duplicate student IDs. So right now, let's say I add another student to the database. Let's say their ID, I accidentally put in 1029. It will give me an error and it says the student ID is already taken. So let me show you how I establish this. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just click on column E where I want the error to take effect. After that, into the data tab and into data validation. And over here, I'm going to select a uh, custom and in the formula, I'm going to write down equals to count if open bracket and I'll select column E and I'll press F4 to lock the keys as well. If you're using a Mac, I believe it's uh, command F4. And after that, I'm going to select the first cell, the very first cell, even though it's a column header. And I'm going to close the bracket and press equals to one. This makes sure that there's only one entry per cell in column E. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to go to the error alert and I can choose the style so I can have a stop, a warning or an information. In my case, I'll go with stop and I'm going to write down um, this student ID is already taken period and I'll press OK. So now if I accidentally write down any student ID that's taken. So let's say 1513 over here. I write down 1513. As you can see, it gives me an error saying this student ID is already taken. Now, another thing is that if I go ahead and change the data validation, instead of a stop style, if I choose, for example, a warning, then that means it will allow me still to choose that number. So as you can see, currently it's, it's a stop. So if I write down a number that's been taken, it doesn't allow me to do so. However, if I go ahead and if I change this to a warning and press OK, then as you can see, I can still go ahead and use this number, even though it's already taken. Now, if I go ahead and change this to an information style, then in that case, it's going to be a small information pop up box that will pop up and it'll just inform me just as a gentle reminder that this is already taken, but it's still going to let me put in the student ID. So as you can see, it just gives a gentle reminder. The student ID is already taken. I can press OK and I can still use it. But the way to prevent it is by making sure that you have stop selected. OK, so that's how you can prevent duplicate entries in Excel. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks so much for watching.